Let's start with the backtrack. We're just gonna first find the UFO up here in our menu bar. As a reminder, backtrack is constantly recording locally and privately in the background on your local machine. So nothing is getting recorded or uploaded to the cloud. So to create our first backtrack here, we're going to click the UFO and we're going to drag down. How far we drag is the relative amount of time in the past that we can go back and get some content. Whether it's anything that was said out loud, maybe on Zoom, on Teams, on Slack huddles, in our office around us, or something that we saw on our screen here in front of us. So for now, I'll just do the last 10 seconds. I'll let go, at which point it's going to create a recording of what just happened in the last 10 seconds. So now I can rename my backtrack. So we'll just call it getting started for today. And now I can do one of two things. I can download it and continue to save it locally on my machine. So we'll do that first. I won't transcribe it for now. And uh, for now, I'll just cancel it, right? Then if we come back to our preview player here, we can actually upload it to Backtrack as well. This way, it gives me the cap capability to share it with my teammates, into my Notion, into my Airtable, or wherever I need the recording to live. So I'll hit upload. It'll upload in the background. And I come back here, and now I have a list of all my recordings in the home view. And that is how to get started with Backtrack.